stronger than a whale. He can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. The It is a gala day in the undersea kingdom of Atlantis, for Prince Namor I is once again proving that he is the strongest, bravest monarch of all. Truly his strength is beyond anyone's, above or below the surface of the sea. And is matched only by his nobility and character. But while the Atlanteans watch their monarch's exhibition with pride and delight, in a dark forbidding corner of the realm there is another man who watches the scene with hatred and malevolence. The evil scientist, Xantor. Display your in... Depths to the peaceful waters of Atlantis, the unsuspecting populace continue to applaud their monarch's fantastic feats. They move him not. Once more, he has proven that he has the strength of a hundred men. We are fortunate indeed to have such a monarch. As long as Prince Nemo sits upon the golden throne, Atlantis will always be safe. But within the palace royal, there is one who does not share their confidence. Namor's Grand Vizier, Lord Vashti. I cannot throw off this premonition of impending danger. Our enemies are vanquished. Atlantis has never known greater peace. And yet, this dread foreboding grows stronger with each passing moment. And at that moment, above the palace royal, That cloud over the city, it is most unusual. Perhaps it is but a school of fish. Ah, ah. My Lady Dorma, what is it? Stone! He has turned to stone! Oh, this is monstrous! Look, another one! Be calm, my lady. I will go for Prince Namor immediately. It will be a black day for any foe who challenges our monarch, eh, my friend? What witchery is this? He has turned to stone! Sire, Atlantis has been exposed to some plague that turns men to stone. Summon all the physicians and scientific minds in my kingdom. We must find an antidote. But within a few hours, half the citizens of Atlantis fall victim to the dread plague, while the other half hide in terror behind locked doors. And in Prince Namor's own laboratories, scientists work feverishly to find a cure. Our archives tell of such a plague, sire, but they give no clue to a cure. Everything has an answer. You must find an antidote before the entire city is stricken. Sire, come quickly. It's a new disaster. I can see it in your face. Tell me. It, it's Lady Dorma. Dorma? No, no. My lady. My love. Not you. It is useless, sire. She cannot hear you. I swear by Father Neptune I shall find a cure. That may be your answer, my prince. Of course. I must invoke the spirit of Father Neptune. He alone can help me now. To do that, 
You must touch the sacred trident which lies in an inner chamber of the Temple of Neptune. But there I must go. Surely he will not refuse me. But sire, the temple is built at the base of Krakatoa Volcano. And only by crossing the burning lava on foot can you reach the trident. Have you forgotten that fire in any form is your one mortal enemy? I have not forgotten. But though the flesh be seared from my bones, I shall not turn back. And later, at the temple of Neptune, the valiant prince faces his ordeal. Remember, only a true prince of the blood, free of guilt and sin, may pass through the fiery halls unscathed. It is so decreed. If I am not a true prince of the blood, then I shall perish, and all Atlantis will perish as well. But as long as there is life in my body, I shall seek a cure for my lady and my people. Will Prince Namor be able to survive the fiery lava? His one mortal enemy. The sacred trident. I have reached it. Hear me, Father Neptune. My people are in dire peril, and only you can help me save them. He heeds my call. My son, you have proven your heritage. Now why do you summon me? A deadly plague has turned many citizens of Atlantis to stone, and there is naught that I can do to save them. You and your great wisdom must know a way. The stone plague is an ancient malady, unknown for hundreds of generations. Who in your kingdom would recreate such a hideous disease? There is only one mind evil enough to seek such a revenge. Xantor. I shall deal with him later as he deserves, but first I must save my people. Because you put humanity before retribution, I shall tell you, my son, the only cure is the X-atom. The X-atom? I thought that was but a legend. It is a basic atom from which all others derive and has the power to cure all illness. Once, it was the possession of the Atlanteans, but greed and thirst for power created a civil war. Had they used the atom, all would have been destroyed. As punishment, I sent it back to its distant realm, and the gateway to that realm will only be found when you, my son, Hold the sacred cube of the ancients in your hands. I vaguely recall hearing of such a cube. But where is it to be found? Locked in the heart of a glacier. Go in quest of it. For only then will you be able to save your people. I go at once. Nor shall I return until the X-atom is once again in its rightful place. And so saying, Prince Namor sets off with indescribable speed. Until millions of leagues later, the eerie glow of the glaciers tell him he has arrived at the South Pole. Locked in the heart of a glacier. But which one? No matter, I'll not rest if I find the one that holds the cube. There it is. And deep within, I see the cube. There is only one way to reach it. Only the mighty Submariner can use his body as a living drill. It is almost within my grasp. What ice creature is this that bars my way? Deadly ice rays. Just what I need for a weapon. Even in the heart of a glacier, I am still master of the seven seas. And now, the tube. At last, I hold it in my hand. The word of Neptune is not to be doubted. He would not deceive me. Perhaps if I rub it, the friction may bring it to life. There, it's beginning to glow and pulsate. What sorcery is this? I have been transported to a sub-microscopic world. Surely I'm going mad. But no, it is the cube. An amoeba. It is a monster. He seeks to engulf me. There are more. 
I'm surrounded. And as Prince Namor prepares to fight for his life against the Amoebas, millions of leagues away in his cavern laboratory, Xantor gloats. Ah, one by one they fall victim to the plague. Soon my victory will be complete. Little does Namor know that there is only one cure, the X atom And that can never be retrieved. <laughs> and in the doomed city, Lord Vashti meets with the Royal Council. I tell you, there is only one way to save Atlantis from complete annihilation. We must leave, flee to some outer reaches. He is right. We cannot stay and watch our people turn to stone one by one. I know our prince will return. He will not fail us. It will be too late. How do we know that he too was not exposed and now lies in some watery grave? I'll not believe that. He will return with a cure. We cannot afford to wait. Very well. I shall order an evacuation of the city. And as the remaining citizens prepare to abandon their stricken city, there are too many. I cannot elude them all. Molecules, enormous molecules. They will crush me if I do not escape. But there is no escape. There must be an escape. Or the mighty Submariner is doomed. I must hold them back. Then, without warning, and plunging into a world of atoms, Namor is swept toward his fate. I must hang on, wherever it carries me. What land is this? Where am I? You are at the gateway to the realm of the X-Atom. And I am the guardian. It is the command of eternity that I destroy all intruders. But I come in peace. I must return the X-Atom to Atlantis or all within my realm will perish. None shall remove it from its resting place. My power is the power of pure atomic energy and only one of equal strength can defeat me. Hence, I have never been defeated. Prepare to die. I came not to fight, but if fight I must, so be it. Will do you no good to evade me, for none can withstand my atomic rays. Then I shall turn your own strength against you. Nothing will stop me now. At last, the X atom, just as Father Neptune said. What do you want in the realm of the X-Atom? I am Prince Namor the First of Atlantis, Lord of the Seven Seas, and Stop. I... Stop! Your communication is too slow for me. Be still, and I shall search your mind and discover all. For only the worthiest Atlantean shall have the right to carry back the atom. Ah, I see you are brave, revered by your people. And to save them, you have risked the gravest perils. Your gallant deeds and willingness to sacrifice your life for others makes you worthy. The atom is yours. Use it wisely. My own face. That is final proof of your worthiness. And now, brave Prince of Atlantis, I return you to your infinitesimal niche in time and space. Destiny has returned me. I must reach Atlantis with all speed. I pray it is not too late. Meanwhile, Xantor watches with evil glee the people of Atlantis as they seek to escape. They're the fools. They act too late. They have all been exposed and are doomed. What is this? He has the X-Atom? How could he have known? 
I must head him off before he reaches Atlantis. And as Prince Namor nears the city... Ah, I shall destroy him. And the X-Atom will be mine. With it in my possession, I can rule the seas. And perhaps the surface world as well. You are doomed, Prince Namor. Your kingdom is gone. I sent the plague to Atlantis, and you will never reach there alive. Centaur! But I cannot take time now, for time is running out. Hear me, giant squid. I call upon you to hold yonder villain at bay until I can restore my people. Obeying the master of the seven seas, the giant squid attacks Centaur's ship, while Namor streaks off to the heart of the city. There! I have fulfilled my pledge. Our prince has returned. Recall the people. Only with the healing rays of the ex atom will they be saved. I go at once, sir. And now for Xantor. Be gone, faithful squid. The disintegrator gun. I must destroy it. So, the mighty submariner runs for his life. Ha <laughs> ha, the brave prince. Fleeing like the coward he is. What? No! No, I'll not let you! Too late, Santor! You must fight without weapons now! Mercy! Mercy, my prince! I shall have mercy. Death would be too good for you. This time I banish you to the forbidden deeps from which no man returns. No! No! Returning to Atlantis, Prince Namor finds Norma, my lady. You, my prince, are the bravest, strongest, worthiest monarch of them all. Imperious Rex. Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. The noble prince of the deep, so be worthy of anything. Lord Namor of Atlantis is the prince of the deep.